Deep in the Jordanian desert, Falcon Squadron are practicing how to deal with a mock chemical attack. Five years ago, the unit was stood down and their role transferred to the RAF as part of defence cuts. <laughs> but now the squadron, part of the Royal Tank Regiment, is being resurrected, reflecting the changing threats now facing the British military. The scenario was uh, there was a chemical attack on the compound. Uh, from there, um, the sighting was reported up to our specialist capability in Falcon Squadron, and our Fuchs vehicle was brought forward to carry out a survey of what exactly had occurred and what chemical was involved. The chemical was uh, signified by the green smoke. The Fuchs came forward, uh, got its probe out, and assessed exactly what chemical it was. And then that is sent up higher uh, to a higher headquarters and from there they can make an assessment of what to do on the ground. Falcon Squadron have been in Jordan taking part in exercise Shamal Storm, a huge military manoeuvre involving 1,600 British troops. At the heart of their capability are eight German-built Fuchs reconnaissance vehicles. Using their probes, these mobile laboratories take and analyse samples with a built-in mass spectrometer testing to see if they contain a chemical, biological, radiological or nuclear threat. With them are lorries containing decontamination showers and equipment and the squadron's command vehicles. Hello, 2-1 and 2-2, this is 2-0. Intelligence suggests a chemical compound in Cala compound. Great. 5-0-8-1-2-8, 5-0-8-1-2-8. Move now for the CTR. Over. While it was hoped CBRN warfare would disappear with the Cold War, the rise of terror groups like ISIS mean it's a very real threat once again. President Assad is suspected of using chemical weapons against civilians in Syria, and IS or Daesh are believed to have plundered stockpiles of chemical agents in parts of the country it controls. For Falcon Squadron, this is just an exercise as they prepare to re-enter service later this year bringing its specialist knowledge and kit back to the battlefield. Simon Newton, Forces News, Jordan.